What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the VO2 Max channel. Um, today we're gonna play some warm snow. I went and did a thing. I went and did a thing. I bought the game. <laughs> I couldn't help it. It is rumored that the Dragon Emperor and the four families of the dynasty the tiger, the swine, the turtle, and the crane rebelled against the god. A curse was sent as punishment for their acts, making the world a place full of sorrow and suffering. Mommy, look, the snow feels warm. These folks are cursed. <laughs> to quench the wrath of God, the families of the dynasty must be destroyed. The journey ahead will be long and obstructed. You must act carefully. Okay, so we've got, uh, you know, we've got our, our thing. I know all this stuff, so I'm not really going to pay attention. I've done all the tutorials. In fact, I was actually just playing it earlier before I bought it. And I had to redo this entire thing. Yeah. I had to redo this entire thing, so... Take the big bone. You know what? Let's, uh, yeah. This is how I had it rocking earlier. I don't like having to use the skill. I like anything that happens kind of automatically. Oops. Okay, here we go. So we've got our first statue. So what these are, I've, I've watched a couple other videos, what these statues are, are your uh, subclasses. So you've got this guy, this seven sword Shura. With the Shura lack in manners, they make up for their temper and fighting prowess. Worship of the seven sword Shura will grant you powerful melee abilities. Your weapon will seek out the enemy's weakness and fell them in, or fall them in one deadly blow. Uh, the passive is cold blood, movement speed increased by 12%, melee attacks have a 15% chance to deal 200% damage. So that's basically your, uh, like a crit chance. And then you pick one of these two extra things that you want to, uh, rock out with. I'm gonna go Hidden Strike on this video, just because I wanna, I wanna get the full effect of the game with a playstyle that I like and that I feel mo the most confident with. So instead of shooting flying swords on command, you now shoot a powerful flying sword to the front when you make a melee attack. Increase your defense by 10%. Makes sense, because you're going to be up close and personal. So I've lost I've lost the ability to shoot my, my flying swords here. I can still call them, or like recall them, but I've lost my ability to shoot them on command, as it stated. But I, I kind of like that play style, to be perfectly honest. And I feel like, well, especially with the, uh, the cold blood, it, uh, it fits my play style. There are times where absolutely it would be beneficial to, uh, to have a physical, or the option. Ow. Oh. oh, I thought I took a hit there. I was watching the wrong... I was watching the wrong screen, or part of the screen. Mm. 
Oh, that's my stun going off. Nice. Flawless victory. Your soul is mine. So this is a little bit different than the map I'm used to because this is the full game here, so we'll have uh, we'll have access to some different things. I played a run earlier just before I, I bought it and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna buy it. To hell with it. I'll support it. I'm not a big fan of this particular boss. I almost always get hit by every attack that, that this boss makes. Case in point. Okay. Get out of here. Nice. Oh, we got a Death Lotus, and what do we got for skills? Blade Storm. Uh, upon sword pickup, unle unleash Hurricane Slash. Using sword recall, unleash a giant Hurricane Slash. Damage increases with the number of sheath. The number of sheath. Uh, what does left bumper do? Oh, cool. That's handy to have. Um... Uh, Damage increases with the number of sheep. Okay, so basically how I'm reading this is I want to run around, collect all my swords, and then use the recall when I have no... No sheathed swords. Or when I have all the swords with me. Bladestorm, during melee attack, chance to shoot all swords to the front and cause weakness in any enemies they damage. What does weakness do? Uh, da, 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 stun frozen, rage explosion. It doesn't tell me what weakness does. I'm assuming it just means take more damage. During melee attack, chance to instantly heal for 5% max HP. Let's grab this. And what do we got for a sword here? All damage plus 4. This is the Snow Lotus. All damage plus 4. Legendary drop. Legendary relic drop chance, 4%. Excalibur effect. If you have Death Lotus in your core slot and North Wind Bloom in any other slot, Death Lotus petals have 50% extra frost damage and have a 15% chance to freeze an enemy for one second. Okay, so we're going to put Death Lotus in our core slot. We're going to take this because it's better than the one with, that we have currently. And we'll put Death Lotus in our core slot. I'm not entirely sure I like that, but whatever. I've done, I've had uh, the Flicker Death Lotus before and I like that. You enter Death Bloom mode and shoot 80 Death Petals in all directions over the next 4 seconds. Okay. Alright. Kinda like a, so that'll be maxed out with rage. So this camp, there's things that you can unlock as you go. Oh, is there actually monies in here? Interesting. Uh, yeah, there's NPCs that you can unlock. There's a blacksmith and a... I don't know, a healer and... There's a guy that you can collect relics from. I do... I do know that. Goodness, get out of here. That's not what I wanted to do. Whoops. Okay, so I have to... I have to, um, use that death, uh, death lotus only when it's maxed out. Get out of here, come on.
I call bullshit on that pig hitting me that time. Let's go. Let's go with this one. Just turning to a whirling mon. Get out of here. God damn it, those pigs pissed me off. This feels a lot harder than it did in the demo. I'm not gonna lie to you. Maybe it's just the, uh, the skills we've got going on. This, uh, this particular build works really well if you have, like, melee attack speed. Things like, things to that effect. I don't know if there's actually anything in there. Ooh, cold blood will make enemy bleed for three seconds. I don't want to use indomitable. Indomitable. Let's go severe wound. Because we're going to be making enemies bleed. Let's see what we got for weapons, too. Oh, uh, you know what? I wonder if I can... Settings, video, screen shake off. That would be why. I don't know what any of that means. Uh, da, 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 da. That's fine. There we go. Alrighty. I haven't even been using my sword recall. See if we can get something a little bit better. If you have sharp fang, then your melee is increased by 25%. Um, North wind bloom and any other slot. Death lotus petals have 50 per deal 50% extra frost damage. Um, let's go with the tooth blade. I think it's going to be better for us with this particular build, because we get some melee attack speed, armor penetration, and damage. And then if we can find the sharp fang... Yeah, let's let's do that. If we can find sharp fang, we'll be laughing. We'll be doing some crazy melee... melee speed. Oh, get out of here! These goddamn pigs! This is no ordinary snow. Close observations suggest that it's some kind of living organism. Oh, interesting. What is this? Ooh, ink fire crystal. This is a really good one. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go like that. And then maybe that. I like in ink fire crystal. Like I said, I like things that happen um, automatically, and this is going to give us a pretty big damage boost. Twenty-five percent chance to deal some extra damage on all our all our attacks. Okay. Oh no! I didn't mean to leave. Oh, uh, that's, that's a bit of a bummer. I hope they fix that. That's a bit of a bummer. Oops. Yeah, 
that's a huge bummer. So I didn't get to... I was just screwing around. I didn't get to look at the, uh... I didn't get to actually look at the shop at all. Wow, I'm just getting chewed... Chewed down health here. Oh, that's bunk. Yeah, this feels a lot harder than the demo. Maybe we just got kind of a... A bad... Bad roll here. There we go. A little bit of healing. Take this. Berserk. Yes, that's great. Um, I really want to try Damnation, but this is probably not... It's probably not a good one to pick up early in a roguelike progression. So... And actually, I'm going to change something here real quick. I'm going to do this. Oh, no, I had that for a reason, now that I'm thinking about it. I had that for a reason, <laughs> so that you guys can see how much money I have. Um, I'm going to go Berserk, because we're kind of going to be using it all the time. Upon dealing flame damage, add 5% extra true damage. Okay. Fill up a slot. What have we got? If you have Berserk, once Berserk is stacked 20 times, then all damage you deal is increased by 30% for five, 5 seconds. Hmm. Melee attack speed, 19%. Versus 18%. Legendary Relic drop chance, 5%. Blue Souls drop quantity, 61%. That's going to really help us. Poison damage, 16%. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's go for it. It's a, it's a legendary. Let's go for it. It's still going to basically get us to what we want, which is very fast attack speed. Here's our, here's our first fella there. I'm gonna have a look at my uh, screen. Okay, you guys can't see that, so... Let's do this. Something like that. What is this? A rotten bun. A small rotten bun. It is totally inedible now. It has been gripped so tightly that it now bears a palm print. Get out of here, you fucking pig. There you go. Now we can see the... Uh, this game is quite gory. Yeah, we could for sure use a way to heal ourselves right about now. Intended. No, wait, pun very much intended. Flame damage 15%, max HP 8%, movement speed 10. Let's go. Let's go whole hog on the uh, flame damage. I don't think we need another sword. Because I think this one's going to do really well for us. It's not 100% perfect, but it's not, it's not going to be bad either. We just need a way to heal ourselves. Um, 
Erratic is really good. Either Concentration or Erratic I'm gonna take. I feel like... Hmm. Well, we get bonus movement speed anyways, so let's go and do that, and I guess we're just gonna go for some souls. This way. Ooh, we took a hit there somewhere. Enemy takes. Uh, Ooh, every time you deal melee or flying sword damage, you are healed for 1% max HP. We need healing so badly right now. Like, it might honestly even be too late for healing. Uh, mechanical Rotor, Thunderstone, Death Lotus, Epic Casket. Oh, yeah, let's do that first. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of wish it wouldn't let you leave until until after you've done anything with the store, but then it kind of doesn't make sense because you don't have to do anything with the store. Uh, mechanical road. What do we have for... We can get rid of Big Bone. We can get rid of Death Lotus or Big Bone. We have a Death Lotus. Uh, what does Thunderstone get us here? we got lots of money. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I'm gonna go for Thunderstone here. And then maybe we go Death Lotus here? Because we're gonna be dealing dam we're gonna be dealing flame damage and then also true damage. We're gonna be dealing lightning damage. I don't know. Should we? Let's buy something here. Let's see what we get. Oh, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> really? This is. Really? That's what you gave me? Literally that? Ugh. Gross. I think let's do this. I'm gonna- I'm gonna do away with the stun. For good or for ill. And we gotta fight Big Boss Man now, so hopefully we can steal some HP back as we are fighting him. And I'll let the cutscene play out for the first time here. It's pretty- pretty grotesque. Insolent intruder, how dare you interrupt my fun. You will pay. That's probably what I'd do too. We got another Sonic the Hedgehog enemy, kind of like Anvil. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. I'm going to give you a big shockwave. Nice, I feel good about this. I saw a 62 pop up, which is pretty sweet. And I was not watching our health. So I don't know, don't know what our health is doing here. I'm assuming it's going to go up ever so slightly as we continue on. Let's see if we can defeat this guy. <clears throat> Got enough goddamn practice with him. I've done the done this run enough times. Nice. Woo! 
Oh god. Let's see if we can do some damage to his face. Oh, we did. Nice. I have no idea what that menu was. We got some lore, a little more lore. Ornate letter. The letter says, Dear brother, his majesty is now old and frail. My son has reached adulthood, and our clan's ambitions will soon become reality. Um, this thing, I think, is pretty awesome if you can get it to work. I've, I've had this particular build before with the bruise herb. Pretty okay. Um, I don't think I want to do that because I have I have Berserk. Yeah, it's right there. So if I can stack that up to 20 times. I mean, I don't know how often that's proccing, to be perfectly honest. But I think it's just a better legendary anyways. So we'll recycle that. What is this? Um, flying sword damage is increased by 15%. Oh, upon sheath. Upon dealing flying sword damage, 15% chance to increase your flying sword damage for 30 or by 30%. That's pretty cool. So this is all just about flying sword. Which we're not really focusing on specifically. Like, yeah, it does happen, but we're not... Oh, yes, we'll take Annihilation. Um, bloodthirst. No, we've got a little bit of healing now, so I feel better about that. We'll go for Annihilation. Yeah. Increase cold blood damage by 400%, so we're going to get some pretty, some pretty sick numbers as we, as we go. Yeah, we're leaving. Just like that. Yeah, look at our health. We're... Uh, Relic, Excalibur, Blue Souls. What do we got? 601 Blue Souls. Let's... Let's go for the Relic. Let's see what we got. The fiery Salt, Peter. Mm, I'm gonna swap this in for the Death Lotus, for sure, right here. Because that helps us with dealing flame damage. So, shoots flames in all directions, dealing 30 flame damage on its skill. Final blow in melee attack, deal 26 flame damage as flaming slash. Uh, upon flicker, leave behind a shower of sparks that deal 2 flame damage to all enemies in your movement path. And then, when shooting flying swords, 15% chance for your flying sword to deal 12 flame damage. But let's let's do this. Let's get rid of the Death Lotus. <laughs> Yeah. Fate Tower. There we go. And our our uh, Ambrosias got replenished, so that's cool. Chapter 2, Scroll of Crane. So this is entirely new to me here. Yeah, look. Look at all those extra numbers just popping up. We got some more lore. Warm snow. Those who breathe in this organism begin to mutate after two hours. Initial symptoms include fever and coughing blood. They then start hallucinating and eventually become insane monsters. That doesn't sound very good. Which way should we go? Left or right? Left or right? And this is where playing with on Twitch would really be fun, because then I could let you guys decide. Let's go for the boss. If the other one was like a relic or something like that, we'd go for it. We just crushed that dude. And another Thunderstone. As yes, Thunder Slash. I don't think I want to pick this up. I know there's a way to recycle these, but I don't know if I have the option to do that yet. How do we get in? Oh, okay. A mechanical rotor. 
Upon dealing melee damage, 15% chance to strafe nearby enemies and deal 60 flying sword damage within 4 seconds. Upon dealing flying sword damage, you receive 1 charge. Stacks up to 6 times. Consume all stack charges. With each stack, dealing 3 damage to the enemy. Shoot missiles when you flicker. Upon every 5 melee attacks, shoot 5 missiles in the direction of the attack. I don't think we want that. But I would like to know how to recycle those. That's probably something we unlock because this is a a roguelike. I, I like our build though. I like what we got going on here. And with that little bit of healing, it's gonna keep us alive. That, that little bit of healing does so much for us. Are these... I wonder if these are the same. Like, if there's one that's a better... Better one to go in than the other. I wonder if you can increase your melee range. That'd be really cool. Come on. Nice. Um, yeah, we'll go for... Is this the skill? The skill one? I didn't see what the uh, name of the area was. I wasn't paying attention. The unfortunate part about using a big giant ass monitor is that sometimes I'm too close to see all of the things on the screen. And I definitely don't want to play with a latency by looking at my laptop monitor. Crashed it! Another one of these. Um... This is all just, just flying sword damage. I like where we have, we've got going on. The one I would consider is getting rid of the Thunderstone. Melee or flying sword attacks have 15% chance to shoot. A lightning chain deals 8 lightning damage up to 5 enemies. When rage reaches 100, automatically consume. It increases your chance to trigger lightning chains by 50% for 6 seconds. Okay, instead of 15%, it goes up to 50 this is the only one I would be willing to swap out right now. Mm. Is there anything we need for the sword? Oh, Berserk, that's right. I might consider swapping out this ink fire crystal. Your flying sword attack. As they need to work on the translations and some of the spelling in this game. Your flying, your, your fly sword, your flying sword attack has 10% chance to deal 2.4% or 2.4 times damage. 2.4%, that'd be nothing. Upon dealing flying sword damage, has 15% chance to shoot a spirit sword to deal 10 flying sword damage. I don't know if that's good enough to swap any of these out. Hmm. No, I, I don't know. Maybe you guys can enlighten me in the comment section. I, I don't know if those were any, if those were good enough to be swapping out. What's this? This one is really fun too. So this particular weapon, this Muharda, and the Sand of Muharda is extremely fun with this particular subclass because you're going to be running around, melee attacking, firing out your swords all the time and then uh, if you can make them bleed or something like that, it, it just gets absolutely wild. 
Mm, I don't think it's good enough to want to get rid of our other one. Yeah, like we're doing pretty good damage here. I see, I see 107 pop up. I feel pretty good about that. And yeah, some of our some of our damage isn't great. Like you know, you see, you see the ones and the threes and stuff like that. But it all adds up. That's the thing. It all every every single amount of it. It all adds up. Just barely. I think we go in the. Oh, maybe not. I'm gonna say I think we might go in the fountain, but Ooh, I can't see where you guys are. Nice. Okay. Uh Dragon Slash, when you do not make a melee attack within four seconds, your next melee attack will cause a huge power to deal 500% melee damage. When you have no enemies within melee range, you're flying sword damage, that one sucks. Let's go Dragon Slash, because that'll just give us a huge, a huge boost if we're not attacking in four seconds. It's hard to tell, it looks like, so I'm looking at the colors of these, um, of these icons. So that's obviously a green here, but then it looks blue when you're further away, but then you get up close to it and it looks green. So if you look to the right, that definitely looks blue, but maybe it's uh, just because of the slight shadow. And yeah, obviously we're not always going to get that, but we will get it every once in a while. It's not an all the time thing. that we get it at all is gonna it's gonna be huge I wonder if there was anything down here oh it gives you a uh, a visual cue too that huge versus just these Trying to see exactly on the sword when it uh, when it changes. Yeah, no, any time we're going to be fighting a boss where we can't attack all the time, that's just going to give us a huge amount of huge boost. Let's go to the right. I don't know why, but let's do it. What do we got here? Ghostly Strand, Ink Fire Crystal, Millennium Ice, one impossible Excalibur. Should we, should we gamble for it? I've actually gotten further than I thought I was going to. Let's go for it. Let's just see what happens. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. I can't believe that just happened. Oh my goodness. Melee attack speed, 37%, which is almost double the other one. Enemies with stun take extra damage. Damaging attacks have 9% chance to deal two, and a half, or two, two times damage. Movement speed, plus 12. And then enemies with stun take an extra 48% damage. So if we can stun them somehow, I wonder if there's some type of way to use that lightning to do a stun thing. If you have Berserk, once Berserk is stacked 20 times, then all damage you deal is increased by 30% for 5 seconds. If you have es Escalation, when the enemy's Escalation is stacked 10 times, they immediately take 500% melee damage, I'm assuming. Yeah, absolutely fucking lootly we're gonna take that. That's hilarious. I can't believe we got the same... 
the same sword. I, I think that was worth it. And then Thunderstone... Okay, we gotta... We gotta figure out something where we can use our thunder to... to stun enemies. this lady. Whoa, shit. Get out of here. We just crushed that lady. Legend of the First. 451 years ago, Ji Yan, the Dragon Lord, led the four great clans of the Tiger, Turtle, Crane, and Swine in overthrowing the 7,000-year rule of the Serpent Clan. They cast down the Serpent Kingdom, ruled by wielding the power of Uryo, then combined the powers of the five clans to use the Blood Pact and seal the Dark God Huleo within the Dragon Ley Line. Ji Yan became the Emperor and the Dragon Era was pro proclaimed. The capital was built on the Dragon Ley Line so that the generations of dragon blood could be used to keep the dark god imprisoned. We got another crazy, crazy weapon. Got avalanche. All damage 8%. I'm not going to take this, but all damage 8%. Damaging attacks have 6% chance to increase damage taken by enemy by 30% for 3 seconds. Melee damage 16%. Blue souls drop 66% more. And the Excalibur effect is if you have Big Bone and Icebreaker Stone, your melee attacks have a 15% chance to trigger an avalanche that deals impact damage over a large area to the front equal to 200% melee damage. Deal 100% more damage to stunned or frozen enemies. Cool. Not going to take it, but cool. There we go, and then let's grab this. Um, do we have... Yeah, movement speed plus 10, damage is increased by 25%, so... Ooh, all attacks 60% more? That would give us more than the movement boost anyways. And I feel like we're at max HP a lot of the time. Hmm... I don't think we're going to take this one. Uh, upon dealing damage, 15% chance to receive a yellow charm from damage you deal, up to 6. When you use sheath, all of your yellow charms home in on the enemy, each dealing 13 damage, automatically consumes all rage and gives you 6 yellow charms instantly. The final blow in a melee attack applies exorcism charm to the enemy, all damage you deal also deals 25% extra flame damage, lasts 3 seconds. <laughs> Maybe get rid of the ink fire crystal here and put this one down at the bottom. I don't know if that's going to be... I don't know if that's going to be good. Disrupt charm. No, we're looking for something that stuns. I don't think we'll take this yellow charm. I really don't think it's worth it. With what we've got going on right now. I was finally released. What do you have in your hand? Don't go. Bring it in here and let me reforge it. Ah, so we've got a reforge, reforge guy. I don't think I want to reforge this sword. I don't think I want to reforge it at all. Kinda wish it would give us a visual cue when we have full health. 
because I don't know if we're at 99% health or 100%. That was awesome. These are, I love how the swords are very pretty, and I, and I like how it uh, it changes your character model. I'm a big fan of that. All damage plus five. Enemies with poison take 9% damage. If you have tricolor crystal, your melee attack has 15% chance to randomly deal flame, lightning, and frost damage. And frost damage. Cool. We don't have tricolor crystal, and we're not going to go for that on this build. I like what we've got going on here. Oh, you son of a bitch. Yeah, we took a little bit of a scuffing there. That's the only problem when you use that if, you don't, if I'm not at full health. But we do have a good way of replenishing health, so. Just kind of wish I could see these guys. They're the ones that seem to do all the, the extra damage. And I like how that other... That other swing is... Oh, okay. It's a huge, huge AoE. So that really helps. You can you can hit a bunch of enemies with that... Uh, that charge up melee attack. Indomitable. Can't use flicker. Um... Deal 275% more damage when enemy has full HP. That'll be really cool. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's go for... Let's go for Damnation. Now that we've got... I don't know if I'm going to get more souls for this or for the other one. Let's go for Damnation. Let's see. Because we're not taking a bunch of hits. And if we do lose HP, we're going to be getting a lot of it back. We're gonna go full, full glass cannon here. I'd be very curious to see how this particular... How this particular skill works. So what it says is all damage, or all attack, plus 300%. Defense, minus 300%. And then recover defense upon losing HP. Now, my question is, and I think I said this the last time I picked this up on, on our previous series. So... The way I would see this working really well is that over time, your defense goes back up to zero and then potentially even into the positives. So you lose a little bit of HP, your defense goes back up. Um, but I don't think it's going to work this way. But how I would like to see it is if it, it as you lose HP, your defense goes up and then you can recover your HP, but your defense stays at the higher value. Like, you can eventually offset this defense. The way I'm thinking it probably works now, though, is basically the lower health I get, the better my defense gets. Because it's minus 300% at 100% health. It would be 0%. My defense would be at... It wouldn't have any damage, or wouldn't have any defense... Uh, negative modifier if I was at zero health. Obviously, that's not going to work very well, but that's kind of what I'm assuming it, it means. The lower your health gets, the less the less defense penalty there is. Mm, celestial Light. All damage, 4%. Movement speed, 6%. Sheath cooldown, minus 10%. If you have Celestial Jade, which is that one that we've seen twice now, your melee and flying sword attacks have 6% chance to trigger the Celestial Jade core slot effect. That's cool. Okay, so basically we get... I'm gonna have to, uh... Watch what we get from... From those other... If we have an option to... I'm not going to leave, obviously. If we have an option to... Go for the blue souls or a weapon... 
I'm gonna I'm gonna choose the blue souls. Actually, I don't think I have to do it with the weapon either. Uh, zombie finger. I don't think I want that. Poison sack. I don't think I want any of these. I may buy this one. Because I think we could swap out... We could probably swap out Fiery Salt, Peter. Big bone. Okay, now... Now we can have a conversation, so hear me out. So look at our sword. Enemies with stun take 58% extra damage, and then enemies with stun take 48% extra damage. So we can be stunning enemy. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get rid of the fiery salt, Peter. That's what we're gonna do. I don't think I need anything else. Um, just wanna see what this would do. Adds 15% true damage, and upon dealing damage, 25% chance to trigger an explosion that deals 60... Holy shit, deals 60 true flame damage to the target and surrounding enemies. Wow. Um, 10%. Let's, let's try it like this, because we can swap these around whenever we want, but let's try it like this. Let's see what happens here. Because we could always swap this for that, and then put that back that way. Uh, Ink Fire Burst also deals damage equal to 8% of enemies' max HP. Um... On dealing damage, 25% chance to trigger an explosion that deals 60%. Let's, yeah, let's try this. Let's see if we get any kind of benefit for this. And we've got extra damage to stunned enemies, which is awesome. Ooh, is this the final boss in this area? Okay. Whoa. I like it. We can actually see the sun for now. And now we can't. Oh, we got a blood sun. <laughs> you are here at last. I've waited a long time for you to grace, grace me with your presence. Oh, get out of here. Oh, Jesus. What am I... I'm poisoned with something. Oh, just kidding. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, no. I saw that coming. I like that build though. I don't know if it was beneficial to do it with the ink fire crystals one way or the other. That's okay, we weren't gonna we weren't gonna survive forever anyways. Okay, so here's a bit of our here's some of our meta progression. So Um Oh hang on a second, hang on a second. Uh Distill Elixir. Preserve souls. I want to see if one of these is... Oh, you can re-roll a random skill. Okay. Legendary relic. One tome remnant. I'd like to see if the, the relics, if you can... That might be over here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> If an attack deals more than 25% of your max HP, you take 75% less damage. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm looking for... Looking for um, the one that allows you to recycle your relics. Melee attack. I think I'm going to do another run of this. I'll let you guys pause the video on all of these. I think I have gone through all of them. Hmm. I don't know. 
Um, but I think we have to do... Still, the elixir gives movement speed. Oh, here we go. This is what it is. You can hold down the elixir pickup button to distill elixir to randomly increase HP by 1% or attack by 1%. I'm going to grab that. That's the one I'm thinking of because the, uh, the, the fellow that I was watching play this, he was talking about that and you, you do it almost all the time. If you find relics that you don't need. Uh, oh, that's too bad. You guys can't see all of the things. Okay, hang on a second. Let's go over here. Let's do this. And I'll go through these just kind of as we go. Like I said, I'll let you guys pause them. Or pause the video if you want. I'll just go through all of them. Uh, let's do Let's do green, red, yellow. So, minor health. Greater, greater herbal, herbal, ancient recipe, greater herbal, health boost, parry, range defense, tortoise spirit, first aid pill, stamina recipe, health boost 2, wound, diversion, defense boost, greater, greater herbal, fast recovery, indestructible, and rekindle. We've got might in the remembrance death, we've got minor. Melee boost, attack boost, flying sword, flying sword again, major attack, melee speed, white tiger, assault, blue dragon, flying sword, true sight, melee speed, again, melee master, greater rage, flying sword, flying sword again, boundless fury, and double slash. Oh, that's cool. Uh, under remembrance forge, we've got dash to still. Elixir Distill, Heal Distill, Rage Distill, Reserve Elixir, Attack Distill, Dash Distill, Soul Gathering, Heal Distill, Rage Distill again, Phoenix Spirit, Attack Distill, Efficiency Distill, Soul Gathering, Master of, can select attribute to increase after Elixir is distilled. Oh, okay, okay. So this allows you to pick whether it increases your health or attack. Uh, study... Crazy Luck, Efficiency Distill, Distill Master, Legendary Distill, and Prepared. I don't know what I want to go with here. Let's, um... I feel like health is probably a good thing to grab. So let's go and do that. And then I will do a restart, and we'll, we can do another quick run here. Mother Trinity. Those blessed by Mother Trinity will attain immortality and have no fear of death. Our mother will tirelessly return return you to the mortal world again and again. Actually, I'm going to cut the video and then we'll, we'll do it in a different video. What is this? Okay, so this is all our lore, our lore stuff that most of it we haven't come across. Oh, and we get... Oh, if you get all three of these, you unlock certain things. Okay, max HP 5%. Max HP. Okay, so these unlock relics or whatever. And other things. That's not what I wanted to do. I didn't read that before I just pushed the button. We'll take a walk around our base here before I cut the video. And then I think this is where you pick... I think this is where you pick the difficulty. If you can complete it on your... If you can complete the uh, the game on your easy difficulty here, which is absolutely what we're playing. Nice, and we got a... We unlocked... We unlocked a different uh, subclass here. So in this one, we've got Carousing Ac Acalantha. Even the Buddha may be transformed by rage into the avenging Acalantha. Worship of the Carousing Acalantha will grant you the power to control the strong liquor and flames that incinerate the enemy and blow them apart. Increase the, your passive is Burning Blade. Increase all attacks by 10%. 15% chance when attacking to deal an additional 20% in flame damage. That's nice. And then Wine Soaked Blade is Flying Swords spray strong liquor along their path, causing enemies to become drunk. Transform your Sword Recall into Flame Recall. Flame Recall... 
Recalls all your swords to deal true damage to all enemies in their return path. Yeah, okay, that's how it is anyways. Broken enemies take massive damage. Flying swords leave a trail of sparks that ignite the strong liquor nearby on their return path. That's cool. So I'm gonna be sending out swords and you can't see my face again. Oh my god. I'm sitting here explaining things. Uh, so you can't... Uh, so yeah, so you'll be shooting out swords and leaving trails of liquor and then you're gonna want to return your return your swords and light everything on fire. It looks like, or it sounds like. And then, Drunken Song on this side. Your flying sword transforms into Sacred Wine Gourd. Sacred Wine Gourd can spray the enemy with strong liquor to make them drunk, but deals no damage unless there's fire. Transform your sword recall skill into Liquor Flamethrower. Liquor Flamethrower summons the power of Carousing Akalantha to instant, instantly ignite all wine and drunk enemies on the map and turn your gourd into Brust mode, burst mode for five seconds. When your melee attack hits, your liquor flamethrower cooldown is reduced by two seconds. That's cool. That sounds fun. Um, but in the next one, we're gonna we're just gonna play all of them. Actually, I think I might do another hidden strike in the next video, and then the one after that might be flurry. I think that might be the way to do it. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so this is this is warm snow. This is officially the game warm snow. Um, I, I'm having a good time with this. It does seem to be harder than the demo, so take that as you will. The rich think of meat and wine while the bones of the poor litter the roadside. Yeah. It's too bad we couldn't get that stun, the stun thing going off earlier. That's okay. Um, yeah, we got pretty lucky with some of those drops. No, I'm not gonna lie to you. The uh, reforging our sword into the exact same one, but just a better quality. Love it. Um, what else I'm gonna say? Yeah, I mean, if you watch a couple of my previous videos, you'll get kind of the basic idea of what we're doing here. I'm not gonna explain everything, because I we kind of learned it a little bit before. This is just me playing the actual game now. Um, so yeah, I think, like I said, in the next video, I'm gonna try and do, I'm gonna do another hidden strike run, because I really like the play style, and then the one after that, I'll do the uh, the other one there where. Where you actually throw your swords out. But uh, yeah, that'll do it for, for this video here. I want to thank you guys for hanging out. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up button. Comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Share the video with any friends or family that might uh, enjoy something like this. The game is very pretty. I love the music, the soundtrack. It's a little bit on the gory side. So if said person won't enjoy that, then maybe don't send it to them. Send it to them. Uh, but if you think they can, you know, anybody that can handle that, then yeah, p please feel free. I was about to say peas. Peas feel free. Please feel free to send, you know, share the video with everybody. It helps my small channel grow. Uh, the YouTube algorithm is extremely harsh to deal with. You basically, the bigger, more popular your, your channel is, the more popular and bigger it's going to get. So I want to thank all my new subscribers. I We hit 35 this morning, which is mind-blowing to me. Um, I'm surprised there was even one person willing to subscribe to my, my channel and watch me play games like this and give my stupid opinions. Uh, but I want to thank all of you guys, all, all 35 of you. You're all sweetheart people, and I hope you guys keep coming back for more content. I will catch you next time. Peace, YouTube.